Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Now in this video I'm going to take a look at this Blade UI kit. So a set of renderless components to utilize in your Laravel Blade views. And let's go to get started. Now here I have a project. This is a Laravel project, Laravel 10 project. And it's empty. I just have installed the breeze. And also let me show you on the web. Here we have the route view. Welcome. On the welcome page, I have used the Quest layout. And here is the Quest li layout. Now here, I have added a bulk styles and bulk scripts. And we are going to see why. So let's go to Blade and go to installation. You can read more here on the introduction. Now the requirements are, we need to have PHP 8 or higher and Laravel 9 or higher. Then you need to run this command. So composer require blade-ui-kit slash blade-ui-kit. And as I told you, we need to place the book styles and book scripts directives. So book styles can be right here and scripts here. Okay. Then here now I have a project saying welcome as you can see, with hatch one, and let's see some components. So I'm going to start with the alert component. So the alert component comes already out of the box with the Blade UI kit. And to display that, let's see how we can do that. So we can say session flash alert. For example, let's copy that and let's go to web. And here now, instead of view, let me just say in a get return the welcome but also i'm going to paste this session flash okay and then on the welcome we need to copy this so use the component to display it in your blade view so i'm going to copy that and replace the h1 with the x alert component save and let's see now yeah here is the Third, also we can see we have a BG Green 700. We can change that to, for example, a yellow. Six hundred and text to be also yellow one hundred. And if I save and see, yeah, we have something like this. Next, you can read more here also. So using multiple types, let's copy that and let's go to web. Instead of only with this one, we can say flash success warning and danger. And then we can display all of them on the welcome. So replace the X alert with this one, which is type success warning and danger. And this success has BG green 700, the warning yellow 700 and the red red 700 okay save and let's see now yeah here we have all of that okay you can read more here but let's see another component so for example uh, we have the logout form button and also the logout button so when we put this, it's going to output the following HTML form, method, post, and the action is going to be the HTTP local host logout or the or URL. So let me open the .env file. I have bladeui.test. And if I copy this and paste it right here, save. It's going to say a route logout not defined. So let's go in, define that route. I'm going to copy this and paste it down there. And I'm going to name it not test, but logout. Okay, now if I save and let's see, yeah, here is the logout. Now, as you can see, we have this output. And if I view the page source, here we have the four. And this class text gray 500 is applied on the button, as you can see here. So text gray 500. And if we change 
to something like, for example, BG Indigo 500. And also I'm going to say around it, the MD save. And let's see, yeah, here we have that. Also we can say padding of two. Okay, then we have uh, also editors here. So let's see this easy MD and uh, scroll down, just copy this, paste it right here, save. And now let's see on the Laravel, here is very quickly and easy. So for example, heading and make this heading here. Okay, then also we have tricks, we have forms, inputs. Uh, what others I wanted to show you? Yeah, this pick a day. Directly here, very easy, just copy and I'm going to paste it right here. Save that. And let's see, now we have here a pick a day. Oh, okay, next, what we can see is, uh, yeah, we have this drop down. And just let's see basic usage. I'm going to copy and paste it here. Let's save and let's see on the browser. Yeah, here we have the drop down now because we use this text gray, but you can make a, as a button as we told you. So let's say BG Indigo 500 around that the BMD and also P2. Oh yeah, we have this text gray, which I don't like that. And also we have here the profiles settings and logout in line, which I don't like. So I'm going to cut this and say, for example, the div with the class to be flex and flex gold and then paste that in and then close this div, save. And now if I see, yeah, here we have the drop down. Okay, very easy, very quick. So you can see also here another one, which is, for example, avatar. I'm going to copy that, go to that and then copy. So just copy this and replace this drop down with the X avatar search John Doe. And if we see, here is the result. This will output the following HTML. So it's going to be an image with source HTTPS on avatar now as such John Doe. So you can see providers, for example, this one and paste that, save. And here is the result. Also here we have fallback and other things. Okay friend, that's it all about this video. I just wanted to show you how we can use this Blade UI kit. And if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.